start out with this, bro. I'm getting older now. I just turned 33. And I found that, like, I'm look, like my family, everybody started losing their hair at a certain time. Like, this is the last leg of my hair. This is the last of my good hair shit. So I've been trying to get all the best haircuts. Like, I get all the haircuts I want that I always had. So this is my New Jack City haircut. Dressed like a 90s dope dealer. That's my look for. <laughs> I want all the haircuts I always wanted because I, I know this is it. Like, I can't do no more mess up. Somebody fucked this up this time. It's over with for me. I'm done. So now when I get my hair cut, I extra listen now. Like, white people, there's a lot of y'all in here. See, y'all get scissors. So y'all don't know if somebody mess you up. You can't really hear, it's too silent. We can hear when I should get fucked up. We can hear. Could the clippers make a noise that you, <laughs> that you can't even describe? Cause it sounds smooth at first. All you hear is, mm, that's okay. But if you hear, <laughs> you're like, what the fuck was that? You try to turn around, this dude to cut the lights out in the shop so you can't look in the mirror. <laughs> You know somebody mess you up when they don't even charge you. <laughs> you get out of the chair, hey brother, what I owe you? Oh, you good, happy birthday, fam. What the fuck you mean, happy birthday? <laughs> I'm going through whole types of barber struggles. Like, you know, I, I think the barbers stand too close to you too. Like, I think it should be a line between they, your, <laughs> they dick and your head. Look at the barber just chill right on you, all dick on your face. I'll be sitting there uncomfortable, like this is bullshit. <laughs> Like, what you want? I don't know, not penis. That's what I don't want. <laughs> One time I got mad, I lift the chair up myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't cut my shit a little tippy toe. Go, go, get your chair. <laughs> Damn. I'm a parent. That's weird. You know, I got a three or four year old. Like, I got a girl and a boy. And little girls are so much cleaner. Like, they don't, you know, they don't want to shit on themselves or stink too long. You know, I don't even remember potty training my daughter. I just think she stopped. <laughs> We bought her some panties, some Dora panties. She's like, look, I'm not peeing on Dora. What a bad for me. I'm like, damn, over there. <laughs> my little boys, they are disgusting. They don't give a fuck. Like, my son just be shitting on himself. He just look at you while he doing it. <laughs> you don't smell you? <laughs> Nasty ass boy. So now I'm this parent, and now I'm having these moments where I remind myself of my parent. That's the worst thing that could ever happen. <laughs> And my mother was crazy. I don't know if anybody grew up with the mama with the daddy voice. That shit is scary. <laughs> when your mama sound like a grown man, that's frightening. When a woman got a grown man voice, they never happy. <laughs> She's like, everybody shut the fuck up and go to bed. Now, I'm sick of this. Like, we just got home. I don't care, shut up. You hear my voice, I'm not happy. <laughs> so I mean, we had a moment where we irritated her. Like, she had some shrimp fried rice. And to a poor black family, when somebody bring us some outside food, that's a big deal. Like, oh shit. You know, like, <laughs> we can smell it. And she had this shrimp fried rice, and we was being little kids. We were just begging, ooh, mama, can I have some? Ooh, mama, please, can I have some? Ooh, mama, I want some? She like, oh, can I have? I want, can I have? I want, can I have? I want. I can't have shit to myself. <laughs> Fried rice is my anniversary. This is my anniversary fried rice. <laughs> Why don't you eat the fucking hot dogs I made? I hate boiled hot dogs for y'all. But you don't care because you're here. Can I have? I want. Can I have? I want. <laughs> hey, y'all, thank y'all so much, y'all.